What is up kings and queens? <laughs> I am back with a new video. Feels like I did this yesterday. I pretty much did. Good morning. It is day one of the 60 day challenge. And yeah, if you're new here, hi, I am Ida. I'm here to simplify fitness and health for you. And I am just now launching or starting a new I fit habit challenge where I help people start create new habits that are gonna take them further in their progress. So my goals are going to be told later on because now I am going to hit an Uber to get to my health facility where I'm going to do my in-body scale to see where I'm at. So sipping on my little bit of a wake-up pill here. I have been drinking a full glass of water and now let's go. I'm located inside of Rugenics right now and I just love this place. I could hang out sincerely in here for the entire day. Um, right now, I'm going to go in and do my in-body and I just want to pop on and say that I know it will not be the best possible results because the last month has been very irregular with my training. I took two weeks of intent time off and but that's also gonna be the proof of concept that consistency will always be the key to actually get the sustainable results. So guys, instead of going up and down in weight or instead of training six times a week for four weeks and then not at all, try to build yourself up to a level where you feel like this is where I can comfortably stay at or this is where I can actually get eager to go back again. Start there and then just like pace yourself up to a good spot. But yeah, let's see some numbers. Is that low or high? It's low? It's low. That was the hardest one time ever because I really tried not to laugh. You guys are insane. <laughs> Don't do that to me. And this is bad. 20? 20.7. Yep. Hello. It was way better last time. <laughs> you can hop up there. I'll I get to print out for you. I'm going to discuss the paperwork in a little bit. But first, cryo. Let's go. <laughs> cryo, baby. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. <laughs> I feel it on every spot where I was sore. My hamstrings, my chins, and my abs. Because I was sore in my abs. Thanks. Nice job. Proof of what I just said. Cryo. And now it's time to go home for the first meal of the day because we wanted to go here fasted. And it is 11.22. So I don't know if we're actually going to skip the breakfast and go right for lunch. We will contemplate during the trip. See you back home. Guys, there you have it. Meal number one, 100 grams of ground beef, lean, 150 grams of rice, lettuce, and avocado. That's gonna be my first meal of the day, and I am so hungry, so that's it. Let's go. So, uh, food is taken down. I have been catching up with work. And now I am going to blend my little pre-workout stash right here. And while I'm drinking it, I'm going to go through today's, I almost said lab results. There is no freaking lab results. It's just the in-body not, not this time at least. No, not this time. Uh, but first, you guys know what's up. It's Megawatt. Uh, it's actually my absolute favorite pre-workout of all times. Because it's so mild, so the flavor is amazing. But it's also mild in like how you react to it. So there's no itching, it's no hot flashes. It's just mellow and you get so dialed in. So if you want to support the channel and also support yourself with a good badass free game pre-workout, go check it out because take that one and take this one. Those two together and you're down for real. Just going down for real. <laughs> 
uh, creatine, the number one most trusted supplement out there. It has actually studied that it is the one that gives you the best strength. So I'm getting focus and strength right here in one glass with water. But guys, anyways, uh, um, sip, sip, going down. Let's talk about the paper, right? Cameraman, are you ready? Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's gonna be two lines you were not supposed to talk about because those were some inaccurate numbers we placed in when we stepped upon the scale. Uh, I did not have as low as 3% body fat ever. Um, so it's not accurate, right? Uh, but I have been staying quite stable this past year, which has been with intent. As I said in previous videos, I have been on a surplus, maintenance surplus for quite some time. And I think that that has given me such a good balance and such a good homeostasis in my body. So I feel ready now to lean down just a little bit. I will see how much I will take off because I think also that it's important to understand like have a, a certain vision of how you want to look like when you go into a, a, a deficit. Uh, especially for me as a former competitor, I will have a hard time to stop if I see that it, things are falling off because I, I most likely am longing a little bit for my super shredded look, but I know that's not the look that I'm looking for. So anyways, get back to these numbers uh my my skeletal muscle mass has also been pretty much the same as i mentioned i was n like pretty much prepared for having a lower number today since i have been resting for more than two weeks and that is kind of telling me that consistency over time as you guys can see these are numbers are really consistent they're off with a few digits here and there and that's because i am consistent so if you don't want to have a paper like this fluctuating like this, then you need to do the same. You are not supposed to be training three months out of the year and then nothing because that will give your body like a what is going on kind of vibe. So these are good numbers, but my main mission with this and why I am having these uh, videos now for a shred is because I want to shred down. So let's see if we can take this body fat number, which is going to be on 20.7, down to at least maybe 16, 15, 14. I don't know. Oh, damn. That's, that's low. A harsh... That's low. Okay. No. Okay. Well, let's I, see. I was about to say 16. Yeah. 16 would be most likely 15, 16. That's my, that's my limit. Um, You're going to look super fucking ripped on those 15. Oh, yeah. Because I want to keep my muscle mass, guys. It's going to be hard because you will have to pay a little bit of muscle mass on if you're on a deficit. Yeah, so an in-body in comparison to a DEXA is a little bit off. So even if I now say that I have 20.7% body fat, that might be up on even 24 if I went to a facility that had a DEXA scan. The important thing is to do the same measurement like every time. Exactly. So that's why I'm sticking to my in-body. So I'm going to... I like have a good measurement because just as a scale, let's say that you weigh yourself at home, you weighing this amount of money, money <laughs> this amount of kilograms or pounds, and then you go two days later or even the same day, an hour later to another facility, you jump on a scale and it's totally off. Again, it's just measurements. You have to make sure to use the same very thing every single time. But that's it. That. Cheers.
just got home after a very sweaty session and Henrik was a gem and got some groceries for us. We can finish off the rest of the day's um, meal preps, but also prep a little bit for tomorrow. That was a very loud motorbike, whatever. Um, and guys, I'm gonna just show you a little bit of more B-rolls of the food, but I'm gonna take you through everything in another video. So until next time, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And guys, day one is almost completed. I have two more meals to go. I just, yeah, because I just finished my post-workout, which you can also find in the description links below. Way Isolate is always a good to go to when you have been working out. Yeah, all right, that's it. Over and out, how the best. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.